All right, I'm gonna do an update the birth birth certificate. Certificate of live birth and uh, when you become a man. Cause uh, seems like a lot of people's only watching the video for five minutes and then shutting it off. They're not getting that a good part of it. So all I'm getting at is your certificate of live birth, which I don't agree with neither, but that's what it is. Certificate of live birth is used to get the birth certificate straw man. That's why I said I wasn't going to go into the straw man because it's used for that. So it's all fraud. So when people's acting on the issue of straw man or you know going down that avenue, um. It's, it's still all fraud. So it should have never, it should never be in the first place. So what I was getting at with it was who contracted. I know I didn't contract, but I'm being sarcastic when I'm talking about that I enter a contract at eight days old. My parents did. Anything that requires a signature is a contract. That's authorization. That's why they need your signature. So if my parents put their signature on that certificate of live birth, that's a contract. I don't care what the government tells you it ain't. If it was a law, you wouldn't need that signature. It's not a law. You don't need to put your signature down before uh, you and another guy gets into a fist fight and you assault each other. You gotta sign, no. <laughs> you don't have to sign a contract, there's nothing. It's a law, you can't assault somebody else. You know, unless it's mutual. So, anytime you put your signature down, that's authorization. It's a contract. Even, even you know, you have verbal contracts too, so you don't always need to have the uh, signature. But yeah, when a signature goes down on your certificate of live birth, that was your parents' contract. And simply, like I said, without getting off the subject and stuff, when do you as a man get to create your own contracts and have your own name have your own social security number because the social security number that you're acting under is what your parents got you not what you got so that's where I'm at is asking the courts Where's my contract? That was what my parents entered into, not me. Or any of us. Your parents entered that contract. Why are you still operating under their contract? Apparently you're too stupid to have your own. That's what the you know the way the government looks at you. So that's what I was getting at on the birth certificate and when do you become a man? But I sort of got off track at the beginning with the driver's license and so forth, trying to explain. So uh, maybe this video will do a little better on that. It's just simple, you know, when, when do you become the adult or the man to authorize your own contracts? If you're still operating under the contract that your parents gave you. All right, people. Have a good day.